Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this week's Kids Church. In Kids Church recently, we've been looking at the New Testament, especially about the life of Jesus. We thought about the birth of Jesus, how Mary and Joseph heard first about it from an angel, and how after the birth, the first to hear about it were some shepherds minding their sheep. We then looked at when Jesus became an adult and went to preach in his hometown of Nazareth, but that the people there didn't recognise him as being the Messiah, the one sent from God to rescue the Israelite people. They even went as far as trying to throw Jesus off a cliff. We also heard the story of the man who was sitting by the pool for 38 years. The pool was known to bubble up and the people believed that this was done by an angel and that the first person to go into the water after the bubbles came up would be healed of whatever illness or disability that they had. This man couldn't get in first as he was paralysed. That meant he couldn't move and he had no one there to help him in. Jesus healed him and told him to get up, pick up his mat and walk off. Now this is what the man did. But the Jewish leaders weren't happy because Jesus had done this on a Sabbath. Then last week we heard about Zacchaeus, the tax collector, who wanted to see Jesus, but he was too small. So he'd climbed up a tree to get high enough. Jesus came up to the tree and told Zacchaeus to come down as he was going to Zacchaeus' house for tea. Meeting Jesus changed Zacchaeus totally. He gave half of his money to the poor and he'd been really rich. And then he promised to give anyone that he cheated back four times what he'd taken from them. Today's story is about a poor woman. Let's have a watch of this. Stories of the Bible. The Widow's Offering. This is Jesus. hey Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. One day, Jesus was in the temple teaching people and answering questions. He sat down near the collection box where people would bring their gifts to God. He watched as the crowds dropped in their money. He saw rich people drop in lots of money. And then he saw a poor widow come and drop in two small coins. Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I tell you the truth. This poor widow has given more than all the others. Really? He said this was because the rich people gave a small part of the great amount they had. But the widow was very poor, and she gave everything she had to live on. Widows in Jesus' time weren't like widows today. Women didn't really earn money of their own, so before they were married, they were provided for by their fathers. When they got married, their husbands took care of them. And then when their husbands died, often it would be their sons or daughter's sons who would look after them. They were often very poor. This is like the widow in our story today. Now, all through the Bible, in the Old Testament, God talks about looking after the widows and the orphans those who couldn't do much for themselves. God said that temple offerings should go towards helping those who can't help themselves. This story comes at a time when Jesus has been telling off the Pharisees, the Jewish leaders, for taking from these poorest people to get things for themselves. Jesus cared for this poor woman. Let's sing now and worship Jesus who cares for us too. Yo, 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 yo. Yes, 
the coins that the woman gave would be like two 1p coins, not worth much at all, while rich people were giving lots and lots. When Jesus spoke to his disciples, he told them that she'd given more than they had. Well, how could that be? Jesus knew that before the rich people had put their money in, they'd bought all that they wanted and this was just a tiny bit of what was left over. For the woman, her two coins were everything she had. Not what she had left, it was everything that she had and she gave everything that she had so she wouldn't even be able to buy food now. The rich people wanted to be seen giving money, for people to think that they were generous and special and to be praised for it. Jesus was showing that what he had been saying about them before, that they did things for show, was also true for their money, but that in truth, a poor widow was giving more than them. Let's worship again, worship Jesus by singing, dancing and praising. about how we should live from today's story. Well, it isn't initially as it seems that we should give everything to God. That isn't what this woman was doing. God only asks for some of what we have. She was giving everything to the temple where the money was going to those who already had lots to help them show off. It's right to give to God. But this money should be used as God wants it to be and not to make a few people look good. There's a warning not to do religious things just so that people can see us. Jesus warns against this and basically tells the Jewish leaders that they'll be punished for doing this and not looking after the widows and the orphans. Instead, taking from them what little that they do have. He goes on to say that the temple will be torn down. After Jesus died 
and the Christian church was formed. The people in that early church helped the poor with the money that they had. They helped one another in times of need. So we should give to God from what we have in order to do God's work and not just so that people will praise us for doing something good. Shall we pray? Dear God, thank you for what this story of the poor woman shows us. Help us to look after those who need help the most, the poorest in our society. Help us not to be like the Pharisees who wanted to show everyone how good they were, but they were actually not helping the people that you really wanted them to. Give us your compassion for people and show us how we can help them. Amen. Well, that's all for this week's Kids Church. Next week, we'll be thinking about our mums as we celebrate Mother's Day. This week, remember that we should use what we have to please God and to praise him and not to make people look at us and think how good we are. Also, we should do what God has said and look after those who can't look after themselves. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>
one thing.